Hello world. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to change the continue reading or the read more link into a button. So if you do a quick Google search for customizing the read more button you can stumble upon this article in the codex. If you can just read through here there's a lot of ways that you can just change the text if you're looking to do that. So you can change um, you know continue reading to whatever you want you know read more whatever. Uh, you can do that by just going into your actual your content and finding the loop and then right here the content it says continue reading you can change that to be whatever you want but in my case I want to change it into a button so to do that you know I need to be able to I could just style this link and make it look like a button you know I could target this class more link and uh, you know make it look like a button but since I already have bootstrap put into my theme I want to add some classes to that so I don't have to you know duplicate styles just to style that more link so to do that you can go down here a little bit more and you can see that there's a um, you know a function right here to add classes I mean it actually does whatever you want to you can you can change the text and you can add classes so I'm gonna grab this function here copy that and I'm going to put it in my extras PHP down here at the bottom. And I'm going to prefix it with my domain extension. Or I'm sorry, my text domain. So let's see what that does. So it should spit out your read more link text. So put that in there. And there we have it. So if you click on the link, it goes to the actual post. So that's awesome. So now I just want to, you know, um, add some classes on here that Bootstrap gives me so I can make it into a button. So BTN, BTN small, BTN primary. Save that. So now we click on it, it looks like a button. So instead of your read more text here. I'm going to say something like view tutorial. So another thing I want to note here is that you don't want to put like you notice that this one is up up here um, next to the the paragraph. And if you inspect this, you'll see that the read more button is actually within that paragraph. So you don't want to wrap this in a paragraph tag, anything like this. Because then you'd have you'd have bad markup. So you have a paragraph, and then it because you broke that paragraph, it kind of inserted it for you. But some browsers won't do that for you. It would actually have like an open paragraph tag. So instead of adding that paragraph tag there, when you're if you want it to drop down in the second line when you're editing a post, just you know hit enter after it. So we can go to this post here, post title, all posts, post title. You see that my more tag is up here. If I just hit enter and give it a space, you know, and let WordPress do its magic, um, it'll automatically put that space in there for you, that paragraph space. So the, before we close out, we always want to make sure to, you know, comment our code. So down here, leave a comment that says, Customize the read more button. So that's a quick tutorial on how you can uh, customize your read more button. Feel free to comment below.